right? All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Matt Morrison here, uh, announcing this uh, first playoff or first uh, high school girls basketball team between the uh, South Central Satellites and the Laville Lancers. Should be a pretty good game. But uh, I mean, you got Laville coming in already 0 and 1, trying to bounce back and you know get their first win. Then you got South Central who has yet to play a game, so they're looking to start off fresh. But let me toss it over here. Why don't you go ahead and give me what you got there, Dusty? Um, yeah, you know, as you said, the Laville Lancers, you know, starting the season off a little rocky as they start the season off 0 and 1. Um, but I'd like to talk more about the satellites as um, I got some a few keys here that um, could help them in winning this game. And one of them would be to not turn over the ball because I think taking care of the ball is going to be crucial in today's game. Uh, another one will be making their shots, uh, you know, because when they get an opportunity, they need to cash it in. Um, and also to box out, uh, cause if they're going to win this game, they need to make sure the opponent doesn't get the easy rebound. Um, and one last thing would be to you, try to use screens. Uh, I know in high school basketball screens are used a lot less, but they can really create open shots for the satellite. Do you have anything, Mark? Well, the biggest thing for South Central is going to be where's the scoring uh, come from. South Central graduated a lot of scoring, a lot of skills, and a lot of rebound. So we'll just see what they do tonight, um, see how South Central reacts to their first game, being known as the sectional champion, and now they're going to have that target on their back. LaVille's going to come out and play them hard. They lost to GM Town by two. Uh, so you just don't know what's going to happen. It looks like we're getting ready for the national anthem or the Ville school song. Looks like something. Um, I just muted us because I couldn't hear you guys. So it's pretty loud. They're ready to go there. They're ready for some Indiana basketball, man. Should be exciting. Uh, in the spirit of sportsmanship, we ask that all fans add courteous legal arms around you. Abusive language or disorderly comment is unacceptable and not welcome at IHSA events. Let's inform the student athletes, coaches, officials, and your fellow fans respect they deserve. Your cooperation is appreciated and please enjoy the game. At this time, to honor our country and our flag, we'll have a play of our national anthem. <laughs> Better if you full screen it. Yes. All right, we're ready to go here, everybody. Number 20, 
Hey, Matt, can you full screen it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, for sure. There we go. Y'all see it? Yeah, yeah. All right. It's just going to load, I guess. Yeah, it uh, do that every now and then, I think, because the internet, it kind of, it's not so great over there, so oh, it might do that every now so and then. It's not so great here either. I mean, I'm in the boondocks, so. <laughs> right, yeah. It's just Ohio. In, a problem with internet everywhere, because <laughs> I get that here too. <laughs> yeah. Do you you're from New Mexico, play? do you go to school? Oh, yeah. What was that? You, you're from New Mexico. You got a school out there? Uh, yeah. So, uh, I went to New Mexico State University. Oh, cool. What'd you major yeah. in? Uh, journalism. Oh, sweet. I got I got a YSU, uh, Youngstown State University. I, I don't know if you'd hear of that. Uh, it's it's small, but I have a I'm about to have a degree in sports broadcasting. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I got my bachelor's degree in journalism. That's cool. My sister's a journalist. Yeah. Yeah, she likes writing. Do you like writing? Uh, yeah, kinda. Yeah, it's it's touchy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is it live? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are live here, but they're doing starting lineups here. But Mark, are you still there? Say yes, something. There. I'm here. All right, cool. You can add in whatever you want. Okay, you know, okay. Just like South you know Central's them? getting ready to go. Yeah, you know them more than I do. I mean, <laughs> well, um, Coach Anderson was uh, 25 and one last year as a first time coach. Um, won a sectional championship. Was number one in class two way. All right, all right. Um, they lost to Andrean um, in the uh, the regional semifinals, so Ooh. it could be something that would be nice to get back into there. But we're going to find out here really shortly where the scoring is going to come from. Um, and then Laville's coming off that tough loss to Jimtown, and we'll see what happens. Just about ready for the ball to tip up in the air. Yep, should be good. Here we go. And the tip goes in. And oh man, they're going quick. And that's up. Oh, missed shot. Rebounded though. They, they bounce it back out. They're going to set up here. I believe that's LaVille in the blue. Am I right? Yes, yes. yes. All right. So they're moving it back and forth. Ooh, good pass inside. She's trying to adjust. She's got that big wall that looks like uh, ooh, Sadie Marks down there guarding her. But they're moving it back and forth, moving it around. They got to try and penetrate inside. They're they're being forced outside. Good job, good defense here by South Central to start. Oh, oh, there we got loose ball and a turnover, and she's off to the races. And that should be an easy layup. Oh, and she misses it. Oh, we got a foul, Man, and we do have a foul. Yeah. You know, one of those things is it's nerves. The first minutes of varsity, they could have some people out there that hasn't had varsity experience. That is true. All right. Looks like Kate Welsh is in with the ball. And then we got three-point attempt. That is missed, but is rebound and put back up and immediately. So... We got the uh, first lead of the game here for South Central. Yeah, really good start here for South Central as they go up 2 nothing. Now with the ball is Halen Kowalski. She's moving inside, kicks it back out. Here we go. Here comes a good shot outside, missed, rebounded. Ooh, and here we go, moving quickly. Good job by uh, – uh, Olivia Marks to you know get that up, not miss that. The nerves are gone. They're ready to do what they need to do for nothing. Well, as soon as that first basket goes in, yeah, it just seems like that? everything's going to go. Everything should just relax. Oh, we got a jam defense here. there too. There's a fire up man. She drilled it while falling down. 
That looks like number 22, Lauren Edison. And it looks like she was possibly fouled. Yeah. So she's trying to get the and one. Was that a three or a two? I, I, I'm pretty sure it might have been a three. So, so that was a four-point four play. play. We're, we're about to see here as soon as we get the scoreboard off the other side. But look at LaVille. Yeah, four, it's all right. four, tied four. Four, four. Okay. But LaVille was playing that trap defense to start. Now they're out in a two-three zone. Yeah. Oh, good move inside. That's Hope, or that's Sadie Marks inside, and then she goes up. Oh, it missed. Rebounded. Here comes Laville moving up very quickly. Trying to get set up. Comes a move inside. A little floater. Ooh, man, in and out. But rebounded. Here comes a three-point attempt. Boom, man. She drilled that with confidence. That was uh, Halen Kowalski. And Laville takes the lead. Seven to four. Another turnover by the satellites. Yeah. On that on that full court uh, trap, they cannot. Yeah, that trap that trap. looking very good. There comes some good move inside by Kowalski, and it's missed, but rebounded and put back up and in. And a foul. Ava Well, yeah, yeah. And she is fouled. Ava Well. And so the Lancers get into the line here early. And that might benefit them in the end. Yeah, always got to take advantage of those free throws. And, man, that just rattles itself in. And so we got some extracurricular afterwards. Oh, geez, yeah. We're always going to get that. Looks like a fan's getting involved there. <laughs> no, <clears throat> South Central's got this, the most unique uh, setup in the gym. They put the student section right underneath the basket. Oh, man. So where you see all the white and red and stuff. Those That's are students. Cool. Oh man, look and at look at still staying strong into that trap defense. But good job by South Central to move it down. They got to get underneath. going here. Oh, it's underneath, and it looks like a layup that went in. I did not see who it was, but ten to six. Yeah, I just saw the assist by Kate Welsh. Now Lily Smith with the ball. Turnover. So it looks like satellites might have something brewing here. Always got to have a backup plan if something does not work. Uh, I look look for them to adjust to that trap defense. I'm sure they're already figuring out what to do to that. Quick passes, moving quickly. Look at that. Two seconds past half court. Quick passing. Now she's already inside. Oh, man, good patience. I believe that's Lillian Tolman getting the bucket. 10-8. to eight. Here comes the satellites. Yeah, Tolman, oh, the senior, the getting end. involved. Back on the other end. LaVille moving. And we got travel. Oh, man, she got caught walking. <laughs> Oh, got some sound, huh? We got quick passes. Oh, she's wide open. Gonna take it. Oh, just off the rim. The rebounded. Kick back out. She's gonna take that three. Ooh, off mark once again. This time rebounded by Laville Lucy Shirt. Trying to bounce back in. They're moving back inside again. Comes the move and a foul. And we are back to silence. <laughs> the one thing about this gym, like I said, it just gets so loud. Yeah, it does. When this with the... Um, as the first one's up and good. When you see the boys and the girls come and it's on the weekday weekends, it's one place you don't want to look for. And first, like number 20 is coming in for South Central. Um, 
guys got a name for number 20? Oh, number yes, this is Samantha Marks. Yeah, Samantha Marks coming in now. The uh, 5'8 freshman playing guard. Here we go again. Quick work inside. Oh, man, she threw that up and it banked its way in. I believe that was, uh, I'm going to say Hope Welsh. Yeah, what a good move by Welsh there. There we go. There's LaVille moving it around once again, trying to get a good look. And we got a turnover. Good steal by Welsh. Quick pass is moving inside now. Kick back out. That's Tolman with the ball. Now. Welsh holds it. Now back to Kate Welsh. And here comes a shot from the outside. Oh, off the board, but rebound and put back up and block, but fouled. As that's Lillian Tolman going to the line. Got a. They're trailing by two. So she's got yes. a big opportunity to tie this up right now. About two minutes, 42 seconds left in the first. It's going pretty yes, quick. Tolman. Working on the offensive glass. That one just goes in swiftly. One point game. She's ready and we're tied. Look for LaVille to move quickly here. Go back to that fast paced offense they started out with. There we go, moving inside, and they gotta be they gotta be patient more. You know, they're they're going quickly, and you know they almost lost the ball twice right there. So South Central really works to the advantage, and there's a tip and a turnover by South Central. So I ate my own words on that one. Yeah, as these teams going back and forth, now the Lancers looking for something inside. Ooh, what a great pass inside! Pass coming from Lily Smith. It kind of looked like it was tipped by the satellite player. We got a ball out of bounds. And it's going to be LaVille ball once again. Thankful to that trap defense they've been running. So LaVille back with the lead, and now they will have the ball with about two minutes left to go. Holding it is Lily Smith. Smith just being patient. She's guarded heavily by Samantha Marks. There's Lauren I'm Edison. Lauren Marks reaching in. Almost had to steal, but oh, well, there's there's a foul there as uh, Halen Kowalski went up and was fouled. Yeah, and looks like they're going to call a foul before the shot. It's going to be on the yeah, floor. Yeah, so no shooting foul. Kowalski with the ball. Pushing through. Gets a good pass up. Here comes a corner three. Ooh, just off the mark. Rebounded. Moving in. Let's see. Uh, as soon as I see that clock, I'm sure time's running down. Pass inside and turned over. So Lancer's playing good defense here early. That they are. Now they're trying to probably wait for that last shot. There comes a huge pass inside, but it's blocked and stolen away. Come South Central. Moving steadily. She's driving inside, puts it up, and oh, just off the mark. Rebounded by LaVille. Unaware of the time. I'm sure it's close. I'm sure it's running down. Kowalski with the ball. She's trying to move inside. Puts up the layup, and she's fouled. Yeah, good work there by Kowalski, making something happen rather than settling for the jump shot.
Ville trying to tie this one up. She gets it within one. And that one just misses. South Central has a one-point lead. They're trying to move quickly. Pass inside. Seven seconds left, and she nails the little 15-footer. Extend their lead. And I believe that's the end of the first. Uh, I believe we got a score of 16 to 12, South Central. Man, what a, what a fast-paced first quarter there. It went really quick because they were playing really quick, I feel like. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it was a very fast-paced first quarter. Um, I mean, both defenses, you know, <laughs> stepping up on each side um, and keeping this at a low-scoring game early. That indeed. That indeed. That and also it's some of the game's chitters too. For these guys, South Central, that's really not – a low scoring affair for them. Their average last year they averaged about sixteen to twenty points. So okay. they're in that ballpark. Laville, on the other hand, for their first game, if you compared their first quarter last time, was they scored more points tonight than they did the first time. So out of thirty two yeah. points, they scored I think six or eight. And I just so, want to point this sorry to cut in here. I just want to point this out that there's a man and I believe a chicken costume down there. I don't know if you guys see that. Okay. <laughs> oh, I do see it now. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. To let you guys know about Indiana basketball and Halloween, Halloween doesn't end on the 31st. Really? Halloween ends if it's a basketball game and it's supposed to be football time, it ends that Saturday. Because you'll, oh, have, wow. you'll see chicken costumes, you'll see gun oh, costumes. So oh, wow. so they have a whole extra week. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They got to use their costumes. They bought them for one time. No, not these guys. As the second quarter to, uh, gets going here, yeah. South Central has the ball. Yeah, they're trying to move quickly. What a, what a drive inside, and that one just goes in. And I believe we got a foul. Yes, indeed. All of a sudden, the screen loads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but a great drive there by, I believe it was, um, it might have been Mendenhall. Yeah, I believe it is Gwen Mendenhall. Trying to get the N1. And Josh needs a high speed hot yeah. spot. <laughs> yeah, he does. I uh, don't do me. Oh, it's Lillian Tolman. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> Josh gets the back where it needs to be when they yell on. So, certainly Michaela Kuchu with the ball. And she has the court. There's a Lancer look on the ball. All right, there we go. There we go. Well, hopefully it stays like this. Here come the three points. That's no good. Rebounded. Control. Oh, we missed one, bro. I'm on a seven basketball. All right, all right. Ooh. So maybe we try reload the page. Yeah, that could work. Both of these will be back in a few seconds. 
What's that? They'll be back in a few seconds. Okay. There we go. There we go. We're back. Oh, briefly. Alright, okay, my Wi Fi is a lot worse. <laughs> I believe this guy's 16 15 up there. South Central is a one point lead. I got a comment 21 seconds. The second. Is that yeah, it looks like it's been. I hit well. There we go. We're clear now. Nice. Yeah, it looks like it was a four point swing while we were gone. As the South Central is down by three, now they go up one, 16 to 15. They do make that going up by two now, 17 to 15. So here comes Laville. It was like South oh. Central moved up to a 1-3-1 one, one half court zone. Yeah, making adjustments, applying more pressure. And they also got the links. Uh, Mark's girl up there, number 30, with her long arms and stuff. That's going to make life miserable up there yeah, for those Sadie guards, Marp. too. Sadie Marp standing at 5'10", junior. Comes a pass. Fire down inside. Ooh, good passing by Laville. And it's finished off by Ava Well with the bucket. 17-17. Yeah, Laville still got trap defense. South Central has to move quickly to get it in the end. It looks like he's fouled. Olivia Mark. Yeah, there's travel. Oh, she caught and caught on a travel. Oh man. Those turnovers. Turnover back and forth, I tell you. Yeah, but don't look now, boys. We got a tie ball game with little less than five to go in the first yep. half. Quick pace game. Hey, well, I wouldn't be able to keep up. <laughs> As that might have been a turnover for the Lancers. Yes. Sadie moving inside. Nice oh, what a beautiful step. move! Move inside by Sadie Marv. and South Central takes the lead. Once again. I'm moving in on the other side. Quick little jumper will not go. Rebound by Hope Well. Here comes South Central moving, in, moving inside. Reverse layup and knocked out of bounds. Good attempt by Olivia Marv. It will remain South Central ball. Olivia Marks, an assist for Kate Walsh. Olivia Marks for two. Oh, wow. Good pass inside. Marks with the point. Yeah, great play oh. by the satellites. Able to get that cut to the basket. And get very two. quick, very fast pace, yes. Oh, got a jumper there. Man, way off on the board. Green Patton by South Central. Three minutes, 20 seconds left for Hoffman. Come to the other side of the court. Lillian Coleman brings in. Now moving inside is Mark. He picks the back out. And they lose the court. Yeah, good ball movement here for the satellites. Gonna get a good shot. And it's batted out of bounds. Looks like we have some substitutions. We need Lauren Edison coming in for the Lancers. Oh. 
21-17. It looks like Tolman just off the mark, but it might have been a foul right before the shot. Yeah, uh, I think Welsh got called for an offensive foul or an illegal screen. Oh, what a move inside between two defenders, but it's ultimately squatted by Mark. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a quick move inside, man. What a good bucket. And he got the foul, too. So and the foul, too. Dylan, Dylan lost to an absolute terror for this LaVille Lancers team. Yeah, Matt, the Lancers giving the satellites a taste of their own medicine as they get that same play into the basket. And Kowalski misses. Good point. Good quickly. South Central moving in. And Lucy's fouled. Coleman. We got 21 19 satellite lead. Two and a half minutes. What? Two and a half. Here comes a move inside by Wells. He passes it back. That's in the hands of Samantha Mark before she dumps it off. He must move that in. In the hands of Katie Mark, he's trying to fire a quick pass to the corner. He hit well. Good passing here by South Central. Is coming to the floor here. In the field, he's trying to draw. Here is trying to work the sidelines. It goes up and off the charge. Caught on Sandy Mark. So the ball will go back to the answer. What do you guys think there were her feet set? Um, it was an iffy call, but yeah, the Lancers. I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Every time you see somebody come with y'all Mac, they wanna wanna call off at the charge, but you gotta know like were their feet set or did they just move it in the way? You know? Lancers now oh man tough defense wow what a block shot like well that shot fired up nowhere close to the net that was a wild shot picked up by Laville It just feels like both teams are very gassed right now. They're yeah, very yeah. tired. Yes. Uh, they don't the late I it's like they've they've only had the they've only had a lot of the two weeks of practices and stuff. Oh, and it really just seems cool. like the the legs aren't there yet. Yeah, we'll yeah. Take, uh, you're gonna see some exhaustion. I mean, might even see some cramps here and there. You can practice yeah. all you want, but playing in a real game is, I think, is totally different. Exactly, because I mean, the beginning of the season, you know, you're barely getting into the conditioning and everything, so it, it takes a couple games, yeah, uh, you know, to get in that that conditioning stage. And with this basketball and stuff right now, you can just <clears throat> the games are so. The schedule's so tight. Like, they'll be playing back to back to back to back where they could play like two games one week, then they could play three games another week. Time, oh. Bodies just don't take take time. 
for them to come as uh, Laville comes Laville comes back onto the floor and so does the satellites with I think we said about a minute left to go in the uh, first half. Oh. Yeah, and I think the Lancers kind of have an advantage here as they've already played one game in the season, but it looks like the satellites came prepared and they find themselves up by two still. <clears throat> But here we go, LaVille moving the ball once again. Wow, wow, trap defense everywhere. Double team there, double team there. And, man, oh, she gets two tenths at and does not go. Rebounded by South Central's, I believe that is Lillian Tolman. 33. Yep, Lillian Tolman. Before she pass it off to Welsh, who pass it off quickly. Here we go. Here comes a three-point shot. I believe that's by Welsh. That's way off mark. Rebounded by Michaela Kuskai. Yeah, just a bad shot there by the satellites. Maybe they could have worked it around. Yeah, yeah take time. You got. I mean, you have time to set up. Take your shot. Just don't whale it up there. You know, you have the time. Exactly. Here we go. Here comes a quick shot. That one off mark. I don't think it was going to go anyways. I think we got a foul. Looks no, like we're at halftime. Oh, we're at halftime already. All right. Wow. Quick half. Guys, recap here. Very quick game. Uh, we're, we're about a half hour in, and it's already halftime. That's that's unbelievable right there. Well, uh, you know, we only play eight minutes quarters here, guys. So. Oh, eight, eight minutes quarters. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Eight, eight, eight and eight, 16, so – not a lot of fouls. Um, excellent playing. Yeah. A little sloppy but, on both sides, I would yeah. say. But all in all, you know, as a coming out for the first half for the uh, incoming new season for the Satellites, they look pretty darn good. Yeah. Let's talk about, uh, you know, what they have to do here. We'll start with Mark here since you know South Central. What do they got to do to keep this lead going? You know, what do they have to keep doing or what do they have to change or anything like that? What do they got to do here? Go ahead. They got to take care of the ball first off. There's too many turnovers. Um, second off, they got to stop the fouling. There's a lot of fouls and stuff going on. That's what you got moving your feet and stuff like that. Third off, they just – they're playing a little too loose. Yeah. Out in my hand. I, I would say that needs to get a little hard. tightened up and have fun playing it. But, you know, the seniors got to take the ownership up, uh, ownership up and say, hey, guys, we're at home. We're playing at our home gym and everything else. So let's just let the game come to us. And it's slowly, it slowly started to come to them after uh, – <laughs> They had a couple of times when uh, South Central had that um, – they had a run, and you saw the game slowly come to them. And Coach Anderson's probably going to say, hey, we got to slow it down, let the game come to us as much as we can. All right, that sounds pretty good. Now, Dusty, what what is this – we'll jump sides here. What does this LaVille team have to do uh, – to keep going. That trap defense looks pretty good. Do you think they should stick with that or go in a different direction? Do you think South Central is figuring that out a little bit? I mean, they have the lead, but what are your thoughts here, Keys, for LaVille? Uh, I think for LaVille, um, I mean, honestly, I think that their defense, you know, is is working pretty well, you know, because yeah. uh, South Central is just not running away with this game. As you look at the score, cool. Um, this game was on, almost tied at the halftime, uh, despite a missed buzzer beater. Um, so you know it could have been twenty-one to twenty-one at the half. It's it's only twenty-one to nineteen. So I think if you're the Laville Lancers, you really don't have much to worry about. You know, you just got to focus on this second half and um, just keep doing what you're doing. That sounds good. But, Mark, if you want to take it away, talk anything Indiana basketball, go ahead. <laughs> you know, Indiana basketball is something unique. Uh, it's it's a great thing uh, for everybody. It brought the communities closer together, uh, like with South Central. A lot of people were uh, 
grabbed the round of saying South Central was like their Cinderella story. They went undefeated throughout the entire year last year. Uh, oh. They got to the uh, regional semifinals. They lost to Andrean. It was something that was um, something that was very unique about the um, the entire program. It's something that when you bring it brings people together to a different thing. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, Indiana basketball, I mean, my dad and I, we've always put Indiana basketball on a pedestal. Like, no matter if it's women's or men's, like, every year during one basketball starts, uh, I mean, we always watch the movie Hoosiers. Uh, of course, you guys got to know that movie, especially Mark. You got to know that movie, right? Oh, yes. Um I mean, and you got my one of my dad's favorite NBA players of all time, and as well as mine is, I mean, Larry Bird, who's from Indiana, of course. Um, um, funny thing you mentioned that. Uh, go ahead. What do you got? Story. Tell us. This tell is us. a true story. You mean my him? mom and dad went to college with them. No the way. Great legend. Um, awesome. My dad actually sat. That's insane. My dad had uh, English one with uh, Larry Bird. That's awesome. Now, Larry was not really a talkative guy. He was shy. He was just, he was like playing basketball, you know? He, so that's still pretty cool, though. <laughs> it is. Uh, I'd always love to run into him. Like, yeah, uh, when I was a little boy, my dad took me to Boston and we toured the stadium there. Of course, it's not the old Boston Garden. But still pretty cool, and yeah, I still have the Larry Bird jersey he got me years ago, hanging up. But uh, it's something I've seen all the documentaries, you know, with Magic and him back and forth, and the the Lakers Celtics rivalry documentaries. Like, it's literally one of the best, and it'll always be remembered, you know. Oh yes, that one, <laughs> and then also uh, <coughs> another person that's a great in Indiana basketball is uh, Damon Bailey. Yep. Um, he and uh, Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp? Uh, from Concord. Yeah. Uh, they played in um, the old Hoosier Dome where the Indianapolis Colts played in a high school basketball game. They had a sellout of 82,142. That's unbelievable. And I was there, of course, for that game. I couldn't miss it for the world. Um, uh, yeah, he that went, place was packed. Kemp was from Elkhart, wasn't he? Elkhart, Indiana. Concord. Yeah, is, it's close yeah, by Elkhart. Um, okay, okay, he went to Concord. All right, that's cool. The place was rocking the entire time. Uh, another person from this area is Bryce Drew. Bryce Drew. Uh, from Valparaiso. In 1996, um, yeah, he made he the shot. Shot. yeah, that's right, yeah, that's iconic shot. He gets Ole Miss against Ole Miss, right? Yes. Oh man, I remember that. I mean, <laughs> I was I wasn't born yet, but I remember seeing it like later. Um, it was like late 90s. It was in 98. Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, I think I guess, every time that uh, March Madness comes around, that shot is always I, yeah. the shot. Yeah, that it's always possible. Yeah. Um, Number 24. Yep. Um, we also um, – that's where I go to school for my master's. I go to Valpo University. Oh, cool, cool. Nice. Uh, yeah, the – our winter seasons, our fall season is just about wrapping up. Um, our girls' team won their conference at the regular season, and unfortunately fell short in the uh, semifinals. And our football team kind of lost, took it on the chin today against uh, St. Thomas. But what can you say when you got two young kids, two t young teams?
Yeah. But I always remember, I mean, this Bobby Knight, of course, who's actually from Orville, Ohio. And that's just, I was just up there. Uh, it's about southeast of Akron. I was just there yesterday. So up close there in that area. So that that's still pretty cool there. I mean, Bobby Knight, of course. Mm -hmm. Especially when he helped the old lady with the chair. Oh, yeah. He um, did. Yeah, he did a lot when of he when he threw the the chair across. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, man. Don't ma don't make him man. No, they were just um, he was just helping them out. Yeah, <laughs> she needed a chair. You know? <laughs> mm-hmm. What? Y'all love Indiana. Are you a big Pacers fan, Mark? Yes. I always like Indiana, you know, and I've seen them come to Cleveland a lot, like back when they had, uh, oh, like Victor Oladipo and Paul George. You know, I remember the old Pacers, you know. And, uh, um, I could go older than that, Rick Smith, I mean, uh, Reggie Reggie Miller. Miller. Of course, yeah, I watched the, uh, the Last Dance documentary, which is uh, about Michael George. We're about 30 seconds away from the third quarter to start. But every time uh, that comes on and it shows Reggie Miller and Larry Bird side by side, I think that's so awesome. And it just makes me so mad that, you know, they didn't get past Michael and get a championship. Like, they had a lot of shots. And, you know, just imagine if Bird and Miller would have got it and Bird got a finals championship as a coach. Like, that would just that would just add on to the awesomeness. <laughs> what? Third quarter, just about to start. Satellites with a 21 to 19 lead. Hopefully, they can uh, maybe stretch it out a little bit. Maybe they went over how to get past that sh that tough trap defense. Uh, look at that! Uh, starting off automatically with a turnover. Good defense, and it looks like we got a turnover the other way. Oh man, we got a collision. And yeah, it's gonna be Laville's ball. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it looks like it might have been a, a jump ball and it's gonna go back to the south. Get the yeah. possession arrow. But here we go. I'm trying to move it pretty good here. Good passes, good looks inside. Always got to look inside before you take that outside shot, but she's going to take it anyways without looking, and she misses. That's Sadie Marks with the attempt. LaVille moving quick again. Kowalski with the ball now. Good pass inside. That's ooh, number 25, Lucy Shirk working it, and she gets the bucket, and we got a tie game. Satellite's got to be calm, got to be collective when they're going against that trap defense. Look at that good pass, but she had a wide open Sadie Marks cut into the lane. Looks like she didn't see that, but ooh, we got a kick ball. But yeah, Marks was beelining for the, for the basket. She had about a good couple steps on her defender. Would have been a heck of a pass. Here we go. Quick inside look. Move back outside. Ooh, she fakes that shot. Good drive inside. Puts it up. Good bucket. That's Kate Welsh. God, like that fake by the three and just move in and just, you know, that totally throws off the defender and it creates a huge lane to the bucket. So, two point lead for the satellites. Now Laville moving inside, trying to get answer back, and Kowalski goes up and misses. Rebound here comes South Central. Good pass back and forth. Bucket is good. We got a little run here by the satellites. What well, guys? What do you think? Fast pace. They're moving better. And is they're relaxing, and the ball's going in the hole. You play tight, you're going to shoot tight, and everything's yeah. going to be difficult to go. Looks like we got a timeout call. Satellites lead 25-21. Six minutes left, left in the third. Hey, guys. Um, yeah. Something tragically happened for South Central this uh, during the oh. fall. Joey oh. and Angela 
uh, died in a car accident. So for this time out, can we take a moment of silence and remember oh. those guys? Yes, absolutely. Uh, hearts and prayers go to the family. But yes, hearts and prayers going out to that family. You never like to see that happen, but play begins. Dusty, you still there? What you thinking? Yeah, you know, same thing, you know, uh, prayers to that family. It's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, you know, the satellites starting the half off gray as they go up four and it's going to be a missed shot on the other end. Yeah, but it looks like a foul. So... Marks will go to the line. Here comes those free points that South, South Central needs to have. Yes, yeah, so always got to take advantage of those. Yeah, you know, free throws aren't always the easiest thing, but, you know, they are – the freest. They're free. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, but you could also say those free throws also could win you state championships and everything else too. <laughs> As exactly. the chicken those guys are those South Central student section. Yeah, they'll is go the back. best is yeah. the best I'm gonna do that you could ever run see. out on the court. Oh good defense turnover there. Moving inside. Quick passes up. And no good. Good rebound by Kowalski. And here comes the Lancers moving back and forth. Going quick. And, yeah, it looks like the they satellites up. have up the temple here in the second half. Ooh. Off mark. Rebound. Man, they're going fast. I'm running out of breath. There's the chicken man right there. <laughs> he, he almost got the rebound. Looks like he can't <laughs> even keep travel. <laughs> no, he can't. So an unfortunate travel gives the ball back to the Lancers. Oh. As the satellites try to maintain this lead. Uh, clinging to a 26-21 lead while it froze right when she was mid-shot. Look at that. <laughs> uh, oh, look, they got the bucket. Three-point lead for the satellites. The Lancers are knocking on the door. But, ooh, man, we got a collision on the other end. Oh, man, that's never good to see. They're both standing up straight, so everything's good. Yeah. No harm, no, no blood, no foul, so. The chicken man still, still watching on. <laughs> Oh, man, there's another turnover. Good eye by Kowalski. Let's take that one away. There comes the Lancers moving inside. They got a good shot up. Oh, it's missed. That was attempted by Lucy Shirk. It looks like the f it was a foul, so she will go to the free throw line. Try and make this a one-point game if she can nail both buckets. South Central got their first foul at, at uh, the 440 mark of the second court, uh, first half. That one goes in. Two point game. That one goes in as well. Good free throw shooting by Shirk. So we got a one point game. Four minutes, 35 seconds left in the third. South Central moving quick. And another, another satellite down. But Welsh pops right back up. It's going to be a foul on the four. So they will take it out of bounds. 
Yeah, guys, and you saw at the beginning of this quarter, the satellites, you know, got their own little run going, but now the Lancers, you know, they've routed off four straight, made it a one-point game. Yes, they did. Here we go, quick inbound. Oops. They're trying to work inside. Oh, she's working it. She's trying to get it up. Oh, wait. Okay, whoa. <laughs> hmm. Looks like pros. Still one point game. Lancers trying to take the lead, trying to get a good shot. But yeah, this white man, guys. Defense here. Tough defense, right? Exactly. Oh, Good man. ball movement. What a foul that was. Yeah. Just a little foul there. Yeah, just hmm. a little one. She came over the top. And, <laughs> and hammered her pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> She's going for the ball. It was like number 40 is coming back in. Yeah, that is Olivia Marks coming back in. A quick inbound shot way up, but nothing but air. But rebound, put back up and in, and the Lancers take the lead. I think she stepped on the boundary. Did she? Yes, that's she what did. the uh, the uh, line back judge said. Oh, uh, all right, so no point. That's insane. I've never seen that. <clears throat> Well, so what a turn of yeah. events from taking the lead to remaining down one. It's like my, 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 how the table has turned. <laughs> it's, um, their lines are so, their lines are so tight with the red. Did you see around the three point line? Yes. Yeah. That's what, and with the, on the other side, having all that red, it's a, it's a very, Tough defining on saying where the line is, and the the uh, the official said it was um, stepped out of bounds. Wow, there's a quick corner three man just off the off the rim, and rebound and put back up and in by Samantha Marks. Man, she was sitting in that right spot at the right time. Whew. 28, 25 satellites lead. Two minutes, fifty six seconds left in the third. Yeah, and as I said before the game, you know, rebounding is going to be very important for the satellites, and the offensive rebounds are that much more important. Comes a three attempt. Man, she drilled it. That's Kate Welsh having no fear shooting that three. Big lead now, 31-25. I think that's the biggest lead for the satellites. Six points. Another turnover. Nope. Another turnover. Oh, man, here comes a shot. Off Mark, rebounded. By Marks, I believe, knocked out of bounds. Satellite's yeah. ball. It looks like the Lancers might be in shambles on the offensive end as not being able to get anything going and Satellites try to build that lead. Yeah, Satellites working quickly, working pretty quickly. Calm and collective past that trap defense. And there's a good move inside. Lost control of the ball, though. It looks like it went off the shoe and out of bounds. So the Lancers will regain possession. And the Lancers with the big break right there because the lead could have easily went up to eight. But Lancers come down the court. There we go. Pass inside. To Kowalski trying to go up two defenders and it's knocked out of her hands. Good defense by Samantha Marks. And here comes the satellites moving quickly. Here comes a shot from three way off the mark. But if, oh man, now they're chasing it out of bounds. <laughs> <coughs> Looks like it'll remain satellite ball. The 
a good pass to the outside. Welsh with the ball. She's taking her time, setting up the play. Here we go. Quick pass over. Back to Welsh. She's going to fire up that three. Bang! Welsh firing another three. She's going off. Make it a nine-point lead now. No shot on the other side. Rebounded by Sadie Marks. Satellite's going on a huge run. Quick inside, quick bucket by Marks again. Whew. Full time out here by the called, yeah. Yeah, they got to figure some stuff out. I kind of figured that was coming soon. Oh, boy, we got on the cheerleaders. But you know what? Here's something that you guys can see here, too. We got a commercial. Oh, all right. Good thing you said that because I can't see the commercials. All I see is the big screen because I have to stay on um, where it's at. Well, here's the thing. For uh, LaVille, they got to get back in another small run into this. They got, what, 51.9 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Yeah. Little. They got to get, get a couple buckets. Yeah, you know, got to move quick. And then, you know, I'm just trying to regain – what they had what they had to start the game in that fourth quarter. And for South Central, they just got to keep that pressure on. Uh, looks like they're in a 2-3 matchup zone here. We got double team and the ball stripped away. And Lavelle will regain it. 35 seconds left. Oh, man. Oh, man, what a battle for the ball, and it's taken away. But now on the other end, they have it back. Eight, oof, Ten seconds left, and we got another turnover. Here comes South Central moving in. She goes up. That one off mark. Rebounded and put back up, and that one won't go either. This time rebounded. By Jasmine Foster. And we got a whistle blown. Looks like possibly the end of the third. No, there's uh, it was a foul against South Central, and uh, LaVille is going to get the ball. Uh, they got to go full court. See if they can do it here. Here comes a heave of a pass. Half court, and she just wails it up, and it's no good. So, Alex have a pretty big lead. Eight minutes left in the game. Guys, talk to me. What do they got to do to hold that on? Yeah, I remember, guys. It was a two-point lead at halftime for the Satellites, but now it's blown up to 11. As, you know, Satellites, they went on a run. The Lancers, they battled back. But the Satellites, you know, they've just been hitting their three-point shots. You know, they've been driving inside, making their layups, and they find themselves up by 11 going into the fourth. I agree with there. Um, the biggest thing is now is – it's beginning of the year. The nutrition is one of the biggest things coming through also. Um, can these girls take – I think South Central has only played six girls or seven girls all night. Uh, they got to they gotta get more of the depth and stuff going on. Uh, another thing, 
You got a close game coming up? Free throws. We've been talking about it all night tonight. Free throws is coming up that they need to make the free throws here soon. As it looks like South Central is getting ready to take the ball and start the fourth quarter. That's a quick shot fired up. No good. Rebound. Here comes LaVille. They got to pull off some heck of a comeback here. It's only seven minutes, 40 seconds to do that. And here's a quick bat away from it. But LaVille is able to trap it down, but they're in a trap. I tell you that. Double team everywhere they try to go. Trying to make a move. That's She's not the place there. to go. Yeah. And the turnover will be. Nope. You got a you know, timeout. Oh, we got a timeout. Oh, okay. Yeah, she is. Uh, she was in a jam that looked like. Uh, she had a, yeah, coach yeah, saved the possession. It looked like Blodgett for the Lancers. Yeah. This, you know, they say uh, watching your opponents be one time and stuff like this. This could be a regional opponent coming up here in the state tournament into February. Yeah, it's only November and stuff, but these guys could face each other again in November. I mean, in February in the state playoffs. Yeah, but definitely got a long way to go, but it will come in a blink of an eye, I tell you that. Just like the uh, some of these seniors is the <laughs> graduate uh, senior year. That's already almost halfway done. And you got a three point opportunity coming up here for uh, the Lancers. Yeah, and if the Lancers have any chance of coming back in this one, they got to do it now because it's, it's getting late. That one, ooh, in and out, rebounded by Mark. Getting away to getting no. Well, it's really leading the way here for the championship team. He's getting on to the ball before trying to make a move. Step back, passes it off. Pass into the hands of well. What's that senior guard leading the way? Got felons, look at the Ville. Yeah, so this lead down to single digits for the Lancers as they try to creep closer. Man, over that shot. Ooh, just off the mark. What? Ooh, rebound being fought for, and it's ultimately going to go in the possession of the Lancers. They're trying to move quickly. He moves all the way down in the zone, picks it up, goes the whole way, and it's foul. Yeah, I kind of wonder Malfi. what the satellite's coach had told them at halftime because they've gotten a lot more aggressive in the second half. Shot, wills it. Kalen Blasky. Yeah, she's doing pretty good tonight. She got She drills 
for the Seeker, 36-29. Oh, and there's a chance to see can take advantage of this. Yeah, there. Thirty seconds. Even inside is the bucket up and in. Through the Rampers just starting to lead in a little bit. He is now eighty-six, thirty-one. They're down by 11 at one point. Out to yeah, the sorry to the game. Sorry to the audience. We're having a little technical difficulties here, but five point game, a little under six to go. We got ourselves a pretty good ball game here, Matt. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, you know, this this is what Indiana basketball is about. It's close. It's uh, it's very back and forth. It's, and they're, you know, those teams are very uh, like they're fighting. You know, <laughs> they're fighting. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Both of these teams battling for the first. Win of the season, and satellites just might want it more. Wow, good grief. That's too bad. So good. I want it. Young moving inside. Stop goes up, and it's taken away. Oof. Thrown out of bounds. I have a central. As you can hear the crowd kind of getting intense as we approach the five minute mark in the fourth quarter. Like that was a bucket on the other end. We got a technical foul. Looks like it. Josh can pop in here and tell us what's going on. I don't know if he will. There is a technical foul here, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct on the satellite. The satellite foul is a very safe mark for the fourth, and a technical foul is not a safe mark, so it's all from a personal So very unfortunate, this lay in the game, you know. Hold on. If I got that right. If that was on Sadie Marks, that technical, that would be her fifth foul, so she's going to be disqualified for the rest of the game. Josh, is that correct? That is correct. And the key piece for the Tallies, she has a little Dennis Rodman in her uh, with rebounds and stuff like that. The length oh, against you this that, man. Or the bill. Guys, if I'm the Lancers, I'm looking at a uh, Shrek here uh, for a bigger dose of her inside. I think that was a huge. That was a four-point swing on the free throw line. Yeah, right no. there. 36, 36. 
Gentlemen, we have a game. Four minutes, 54 seconds left. It is going to be a wild finish here in Indiana. And you got to time out by South Central. Yeah, they got to figure out some things. I'll tell you that. Yeah, who would have thought when it was 36 to 25 that the Lancers would go on their own 11 0 run and they would tie this up? It's just, you know, basketball is one of those weird sports. It's a first, it's, it's a game of runs. Uh, we've been talking about it all night. And now with South Central losing uh, marks due to uh, their fifth foul fouling out, what's Coach Anderson got up his sleeve? What's he going to do? Um, how's well, he going to rotate those out. young ones in? About to find out. Maybe they go <laughs> into a trap of their own. It looks like they're lining up in a 2-3 zone. Yeah. Definitely a 2-3 zone. Because they lost a lot of height, too. Excuse me? They lost a lot of height in the, the Marks Grill, too. That they did. So moving inside. Oh, quick bucket. Oh, it's missed, but rebounded. And the ball is loose, picked up. Now it's in the hands of Lily Smith. Now double team. Back and forth we go. Wow, triple team. She moves inside. Kowalski gets past three defenders to get the bucket. Lancers take a two-point lead. And they go right into their trap. They've been in this all night long. Wow, and in the blink of an eye, the Lancers go on a 13-0 run, and they take the lead away late here in the game. What a way to rebound. Lancers trying to get back with the SA Welsh, has to get going. Comes a quick pass. Here comes a jumper. That one, no good, but rebounded and put back up. And that one's no good. Now they're battling for it. It's going to be a jump ball. It looked like Olivia Marks was fighting for it, and it's going to go back to the Lancers. They will look to extend their lead. Four points right now. I'd be pretty, pretty comfortable, you know. Late in the game, you want to stay up by four. Ooh, almost a steal there, but quick pass inside. And it's stolen away. Oh, Lillian Tolman. With take it. your time. Back out. Yeah. I love it, Mark. Take your time. Uh, that ball batted out of bounds. Going to stick with the satellites. They got to take their time. They're rushing it. Um, and especially this during the first part of the season where legs aren't going to be there yet. They're not – in basketball shape yet. They, a lot of these girls have played volleyball and stuff like that. So volleyball, you know, there's a difference in between the two different sports. And that clock doesn't run all the time for basket, for volleyball yeah. as it does in basketball. So you're running and sprinting and everything else. So they just kind of relax. Yeah, relax, be chill, but they have to they have to know what they have to do here. They gotta get a bucket here. Something. Welsh with the ball in her hands. She's trying to create space. She has to dip it back over to Lillian Pullman. Now she's moving inside and ball knocked loose. That was Olivia Marks inside. Ball will remain with the satellites. Marks. Yeah, they get got to get that ball moving. Yeah, here comes Welsh. Oh, she thought about that three, but decided to pass it over to Marks. Marks drives inside, and a foul is called. Oh boy, she's limping pretty good. Looks like Kuski limping off. 
What a it hard looks like they call the blocking foul on the Lancers. So yeah. satellites Definitely inside up right here. Free throws. We talked about free throws earlier. This is where you really need them. And I don't know if she made it because it buzz it blurred up. From her her reaction, I think she might have missed it. And that one definitely missed, but oh, what a great rebound by Tolman. And she is and fouled. She's going to the line, too. And that one might be on the floor. They might take that one out oh, on, under the goal. Oh, oh, man. Her arms were up. There comes a pass quick in to. Went Mendon Hall. You know, working the sideline, trying to get it past Kowalski. She has to pass it. Here we go. Trying to work it. Kicks it back out. Here comes a drive inside by Marks. Here comes the outside shot. That won't go. Rebounded, put back up, and that won't go either. But I believe that's a foul. So Olivia Marks will go to the free throw line. The 5'8 senior. South Central's getting open looks and up in the shots at the free throw line, too. And they Gotta haven't make converted me up. And, oh, man, in and out. Those are got to start falling sooner or later. You got to take advantage of those shots. That one goes in. Are we all square? Yeah, one point game here. That one throwing all Deep the way pass. back. Down. So, satellite's ball. Josh can move that camera up. I'll get a time. And now, <laughs> there we go. They're moving quick. Satellite's trying to take the lead. Welsh with the ball. She's going to take her time. They're moving it pretty good. Looking for that good shot. Oh, what a beautiful move inside. And then that falls in. Olivia Marks with the little move inside. And the satellites take the lead. <laughs> Minute and 20 seconds left. 39-38. What a battle we got here. Lancers trying to react, trying to get something. They're trying to go inside. Here's a quick move. She's got a path. Goes up. Missed shot. We got a whistle. And... What's going on? We're going <laughs> to the other way for a one and one, it looks like. Oh, boy. For South Central. Hmm. All right. Don't have a reasoning on that. Probably just uh, a foul. foul. You had a comment foul. Okay, okay. You're bringing, uh, I want to say, 40 to the free throw line? Yes. Yeah, 40. That's Olivia Marks. She hit She's got to hit time. these. Oh, yeah, she hit the one last time, but these are key here. That one just missed. So, still one-point game. Marks misses the crucial free throw, and here come the Lancers in a terror, and we got a timeout. Timeout. Yeah, it looks like we're coming down to a thrilling finish under a minute to go, and the Lancers trying to get something going. Trying to hit, if they got something going. They're just trying to hang on, man. They got to hang on. It's like, you know, whew. and if you're a South Central fan, you gotta, you gotta hope start making some of these guys make their free throws. Yeah, I um, know. They could be up five, six points if they made their free throws. Those are nice free shots. Um, but, you know, it's a little bit different from going from, the practice for into the bright lights of Saturday, Friday, Saturday uh, games. Nerves could be there. 
and thrown out that um, not having um, the person that fouled out throws in the um, that wrench of not having your full rotation either. So yeah. you got you got some tired legs out there for South Central. Now you're going to see how well and how much grit they actually have. They're going to be tired tonight. I can guarantee you they're probably going to be tired. I'm tired watching them, man. Whew. And they only, they've only put up 76 points so far. Yeah. But there's, a, there's, a, there's only a minute left, so we'll see what they can do. Yep, here we go. LaVille with the ball, trying to look for a good shot. They have time. Under 50 seconds left. Moving inside, she's trying to power her way up. The ball is floated, but it's picked up, and that one goes up, and she is fouled. That looks like Lucy Shirk going to the free throw line to possibly take the lead for the Lancers. 40.6 seconds left. This is this is how they end here. This is how these good games end, always like this. Oh, my, and the pressure goes to the Lancers, ooh. and ooh. He nails it. Tied. What a, what a shot. Man. That's the big one. Crowd going crazy, I bet. I bet you, it's, you can't hear anything. And that one goes in, and the Lancers take a one-point lead. 40 seconds left. They're in that trap. Satellite's trying to get past half court. They gotta get it up. Oh my gosh, it's taken away. Under 30 seconds left, and they foul her. So Kowalski will go to the line. Lancers with all the momentum now. Satellites hoping for a for a missed foul shot. A couple. Yeah, and the satellites they, they had they, their chance. Uh, is this still one and one? Yes. Yeah, the satellites had their chances with their their free yeah. throws, unable to convert, and now Lancers. She sunk that one. We'll do the honor. Both teams exhausted, and that one good as well. Forty two thirty nine. And what do we got here? Looks like a timeout, South Central. They got to get a big shot here. It's going to be a full timeout. Oof. So it looks like the ball is going to be just about at the half-court line. Volleyball extended. So you could set up a good play for them right now. Uh, for South Central, you don't need the three. You can go for the two and the one. Um, and then also you could put uh, LaVille on your thing and the charity stripe. I don't know how many team fouls they have. Uh, and see what the – roll your luck with that too. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, those free throws that the satellites missed, you know, I think they were crucial, but, you know, in this situation, they got to they gotta just shake them off and, you know, focus right here and try to get a good shot. Yeah, you don't want to – you don't want to rush that shot. You still have time. You want to get a good, clean shot. 20 seconds left. I mean, you always want the three, but if the three is not there, go in and take the two. And then I would go into a trap. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Quick pass to the outside. She's trying to move in. What a tight defense. Kicking it back over. Here we go. She's going to try and take it. Oh, just off the back of the rim. Rebounded by LaVille. And here comes a trap immediately. Ball is loose. And uh, by depending on. Relying on the cheers, it looks like it's going to be the full timeout. Yep, and a full timeout. No, wait. No, no, wait, no, no. I think the game's over. Game's honestly. over. Game's over. 
No, that would do it. And there's it. a oh, upset there. And Satellites go 0 and 1, and Lancers go 1 and 1 here in the end yeah. of the season. What a what a great what a huge comeback for the Lancers. Come back from being down 11. They totally turned that whole fourth quarter to what they needed. Yeah, that 11 point lead yeah, vanished. That ran a quick. Yeah. Six, and it's only eight. Eight balls are done. Look at the bars for 12. Sound like we're back in action. Next one, say November 9th. Here's the sound like it's the call. Guys, let's take player of the game. What's player, that? Player of the game? Anybody? I guess it's got to be Kowalski, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. All across the board, Krosky gets the player of the game. All star oh, man. Um, he for, this team, but for man. the satellite, too. Who does my who player gets it on the satellite? Then? Oh, I definitely got to go with Kate. Well, uh, she really moved the ball around pretty good. She got a couple big shots off as well. And I mean, you got to throw Olivia Marks in there, too. She really went to work under the hoop. I mean, just too bad it didn't pull off in the end. Just a couple mistakes, and you know, this is what happened. I'm gonna go with Tolman, number 33. Absolutely. Uh, she was the one that would mix up with the big girl inside for Laville, and she had I want to say eight or nine points. But I would say with her def defense and stuff like that, it would have been a hard, harder fought game for uh, South Central. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go with Kate Welsh because she had some really good shots go down. Um, and, you know, she helped the Satellites stay in this ball game the whole game. Yeah, she did. What? What's that? But, I mean, pretty good game overall. Um, you know, for the first time showing for South Central, they they have work to do. Just yeah, like, they do. And everything else you, in Indiana, you got 20 preseason games. They got the conference and they got a conference tournament. But their biggest thing is they got to get ready for February. And to get ready for February, you got to take these bumps and bruises along the way. And there they were exposed tonight. Tonight, I mean, there's a lot of collisions. <laughs> they're they're going to be sore girls, regardless on both teams. Um, and with South Central, if they would tweak their rotations and stuff to get more people involved into their rotations, I think I think they only just went six six deep tonight when they when coach anderson um develops that uh rotation south central is going to be pretty tough to beat yeah i definitely uh, agree and the way like with laville laville had a step up on him tonight they had that game ahead so they had that rotation going so Rotation is going to be key for them. Now, I think their next game's on the ninth. How are they going to take those next three days? Are they going to take them lightly? Are they going to take them rough? Are they going to watch the film? How are they going to react to the next games? Is going to be the key. And just build on it. And then they also got to start hitting those free throws too. That they do, that's something they definitely have to work on is those free throws. Because that's that's ultimately what lost them the game. Yes. Um, that and also the turnovers. But you know what? That's those true. are going to go down towards when the season really kicks in and everything else. So it's like they're going to be they're going to be ready to go when 
their conference starts, when their conference tournament comes around, when the state tournament comes around. They'll be ready. And it's just going to be a fun season for the satellite ladies satellite basketball. Absolutely. But gentlemen, any other words I can end it here? Any other last thoughts, Dusty, Mark? I have, um, go ahead. Yeah, you know, it's just a really good ball game overall. You know, uh, like y'all said, the satellites really have to work on their free throws. Um, but, I mean, other than that, you know, they they had a pretty good ball game. Absolutely. But, hey, everybody, I've been Matt Morrison here with Mark Ridley and, of course, uh, Dusty as well. But thanks for joining in, and hey, we'll see y'all next time. We got a lot more South Central basketball to call. It should be very exciting. But peace out, everybody. <laughs>